Hi everybody, hope you are fine. Welcome to the Brain Book channel. I'm Amir. In this video, I want to talk about Animal Behavior Tests Part 2. We will talk about rodent behavior paradigms in this video. The contents of this video are analyzing spatial learning and memory, analyzing anxiety, and also analyzing the depression in animal models. What is spatial learning and memory? Uh, they are relevant behaviors to rodents spatial navigation and memory as they locate their nesting spots for finding food and avoid to be uh, predated. Uh, the spatial learning and memory includes Maris water maze, Barron's maze and radial arm maze. The first one is Maris water maze. What's this? Uh, it is frequently used uh, in a special learning and memory paradigm for rodents. Uh, the animal, as you can see here, is placed in a circular pool of water. And there is a platform placed in the water and uh, the rodent could emerge from water. Because uh, in the nature, the rodents and mice, uh, they do not like to uh, be with or in the water, swim in the water. For this reason, they tend to find this platform to uh, go up from the water. And uh, there are some visual cues uh, that could help the rodent to find the location of the platform. For example, colorful or different shapes are uh, around the uh, this circle. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, for the further assessment, uh, the uh, platform is synced in the water uh, and the animal should uh, find uh, the uh, prior location of the platform by uh, using and remembering uh, where it is located based on the uh, location of the visual cues around itself. As you can see here, uh, in the experiment, uh, it uh, measures the uh, memory and the platform is uh, hidden below the water surface. Uh, then, uh, first, uh, the animal finds the uh, platform using the cues uh, it takes uh, no lag time, but uh, when the platform uh, is below the water, uh, the animal should use the visual cues to find the location of the platform. And the time that rodents swim to the platform uh, will be recorded. It measures the ability of animal to identify the special location of the platform by using visual cues placed around the pool. It is one of the most common uh, tests for analyzing spatial learning and uh, memory in uh, rodents. Another test is Barron's maze. Uh, what's this maze? Totally, this test analyzes the spatial learning and memory. It includes a uh, uh, circular table with holes, as you can see here with different holes. Uh, one of the holes uh, is uh, uh, result in a dark box, but uh, expect this uh, one, uh, other holes uh, <coughs> leads to the uh, uh, open falls okay as you can see here if the animal comes here it falls and the uh, rodent totally attempt to hide in dark places rather than uh, open fields uh, in the first stage the animal are lead to the drop box by a researcher for example the researcher put the animal and help it to find the drop box here and uh, in subsequent stages, the animal is placed at the center uh, of the table and the animal should find uh, the drop box by itself. As you can see here, this hole are, this is, leads to drop box, but the uh, others are open. 
the rodent remember which hole leads to Dropbox by using cues around the room. And uh, the number of incorrect holes and also the path and the time of finding Dropbox uh, is recorded by a researcher to determine uh, if the special learning of the animal is uh, uh, working correctly and the memory of the uh, animal, uh, which is uh, the Barron's maze test. Another test that determines the special learning and memory is radial arm maze. Uh, this uh, it's a, a maze made up of eight or more uh, radial arms radiating from the center, and the animal uh, uh, learned that uh, one of the arms could contain a food. For example, this one, this one, or uh, another ones. The number of visits that rodent transfers an arm and the time that rodent find uh, the arm contained in the food is uh, recorded by a researcher. And uh, searching previously visited arm by animal indicates that uh, it not uh, remember and the memory uh, has a problem and also uh, assess this. And uh, this uh, maze, radial arm maze, uh, requires several weeks and days to be performed, and uh, there is no distant uh, visual cues to find the arms containing uh, food in this assay. Uh, okay, another aspect of the behavior is anxiety. Uh, it measures amount of anxiety by placing a rodent in a stressful environment, uh, analyze the brain regions related to anxiety, and testing the uh, anxiolytic drugs that could reduce the anxiety. Uh, the physiological correlates of anxiety are measured, including heart rate, uh, defecation, and freezing behavior in the animal. For the anxiety, uh, test. Uh, we have four main uh, tests, including Opel film test, elevated pulse maze, uh, defensive marble uh, burring, and uh, Geller safer conflict test. For the first one, which is the open field test, you can see here. Uh, here the lines uh, are the uh, way and the track that. Uh, the animals uh, uh, passed uh, in our experiment. Uh, in the Opel field test, both the locomotor measurement and uh, anxiety are uh, assessed, and also in an uh, it's an open uh, chamber, and the rodent is uh, uh, placed near the uh, walls. Uh, totally uh, normal rodents eventually explore the center. Mm. and the anxious rodents spend more time near the walls. As you can see here, it's an anxious rodent. There are more time near to the walls, but normal rodents uh, uh, go um, through all um, parts of the field, uh, and the rodent activity is monitored with the camera and the time in the center is uh, compared with the time near the walls by uh, softwares. Uh, and here we can determine that this mice is more anxious rather than this mice. But uh, using uh, anxiolytic drugs uh, increase amount of time uh, in the center and open area. Uh, as you can see here, for example, if this animal consume anxiolytic drugs, we can see that the time in the center will be increased uh, in this animal. It's an open field test. Another test that assesses the anxiety is elevated pulse maze test. Uh, this maze is uh, plus maze, sorry, elevated plus maze. Uh, it's a four-armed platform like the shape of plus sign uh, and uh, two arms uh, have a no side and two others have uh, sides. As you can see here, there are 
uh, covered. Rodent is placed at the center of the uh, plasmase and the normal rodent uh, avoid open arms and uh, prefer closed arm as uh, you can see here. Uh, because uh, totally uh, in order uh, to hide, uh, rodents tend to uh, go uh, in the covered uh, side, not open fields. And uh, anxiolytic drugs increase the time rodents prefer to spend in uh, open arms. Okay, uh, this uh, test is called elevated plus uh, maze that uh, measure the anxiety level of the animal. Another test that measures anxiety is defensive marble uh, burring. Uh, it's usually uh, based on the behavior of the rodents that usually bury objects like glass marbles and uh, rodents uh, with more anxiety tend to bury more objects. Uh, their researcher placed 10 to maybe uh, 20 marbles uh, in animal cage and uh, the number of marbles that are buried with the animal after 30 minutes will be uh, recorded and considered for measurements. Uh, the Anxiolytic drugs tend to decrease the number of the buried marbles because the level of anxiety in the rodent will be decreased by using these drugs. Uh, and uh, if the um, animal bury more and more objects, it defines that it's more anx uh, anxious. Okay. Uh, another test is Geller Safety Conflict Test. Uh, this test uh, works uh, uh, based on the anxiety and the effect of uh, anxiolytic drug uh, drugs effect. Uh, it, the researcher trained the animal to press a leverage for food, uh, and uh, if the animal press the leverage, the food will be uh, released and uh, be ready to consume by the animal. Uh, but uh, the lever press is uh, paired with the electric shock that suffer the animal. And the rodent learned that receiving food will uh, get uh, electric, for example, electric shock. Uh, anxious rodent press the lever fewer than normal rodents because they fear from the electric shock. And the uh, anxiolytic drugs increase the number of uh, lever press. Uh, here, by using the glare safety conflict test, the researcher will determine the level of anxiety in animal uh, and also assess the effect of anxiolytic drugs to, for increasing the number of lever press and decreasing the anxiety of the animal. Uh, another aspect of behavioral uh, test is depression. Uh, the depression includes to rodent by applying condition of learned helplessness and chronic mild stress. The learned helplessness uh, is placing the rodent to uh, uh, aversive uh, stimuli for random intervals and it results in lack of uh, control and behavioral despair in the rodent. And chronic mild stress uh, uh, with no lag, tilting cage, for example, a wet cage or air puffs for days and weeks result in behavior, despair, and helplessness. Uh, the researcher will assess the antidepressant uh, effect on the depression level of the animal. Uh, and uh, the, uh, this uh, test includes a uh, first swim test or uh, uh, porcel test and tail suspension assay and sucrose preference uh, tests. Uh, the first swim test uh, to assess the depression including placing a rodent in a, a, a cylindrical uh, container the cylinder is filled with water uh, to it half uh, way and the animal is placed in the cylinder uh, 
Uh, firstly, the animal try to escape from this uh, uh, place, but eventually the rodent sees the activity and show the immobility and try to just maintain about the water. Uh, the immobility is uh, an indicator of behavior despair and uh, when we place the animal into the water, an animal uh, tries to uh, escape and, for example, uh, swim. Uh, to uh, be uh, immobile, uh, this time will be recorded and measured uh, to uh, determine the depression level of the animal. And totally, the rodent with depression show a decreased uh, measure time between placing and its immobility. And uh, when we uh, use antidepressant drugs for the animal, uh, the uh, time will be uh, increased. This is a test to uh, assess the depression, uh, which is called the first seam test. Another test is tail suspension assay. Uh, here you can see that uh, the animal and the rodent will be suspended, uh, suspended from its tail and the researcher or uh, operator will hold uh, the rodent in the air by its tail and the normal rodent will move vigorously to escape and the depressed animal give up more quickly than normal uh, sooner. Uh, and uh, it is shown that antidepressant increase the time of animal struggle and uh, it, this uh, test is less stressful than the first swim test uh, and it helps researcher to determine the depression of the animal with less stress because uh, this, uh, the, the last test, uh, it itself uh, make a, a stressful condition for the animal uh, and this test is uh, less stressful for the uh, animals. Another test is uh, sucrose preference test. Uh, it is like that the animal uh, uh, could drink from two sources of the water. Uh, one uh, contains sucrose uh, that uh, is sweet and feels sweet taste for the animal, but another one is a, a tap water. Uh, rodent uh, with depression have a significantly reduced preference for water with sucrose uh, and tend to drink tap water because uh, they are depressed and they do not like to repeat the enjoyable activity and the antidepressant uh, will reverse uh, reverse these uh, behavior and they uh, when they use antidepressant they will um, be eager to drink from the uh, sucrose water rather than the uh, tap water and the amount of the water that are consumed by the rodent will be measured and considered uh, to conclude if the uh, mouse is depressed or not and determine the depression level of the uh, animal. Uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, if you think this video was helpful for you, please uh, like uh, the video and uh, please uh, subscribe my channel uh, and you could uh, recommend my uh, videos to your colleagues and your friends. Uh, see you later. Bye.